Let me tell you about this crazy trip to Kiev that I've been up to lately. So, first things first, we got into the airport, I got something to eat, I ate it, and then we took the plane to Kiev, Ukraine. We got there, I got the luggage, I got all our stuff, we got into a weird bus and there were like some old concert playing. I don't know what it was, but it started out really weird, it was around midnight, we got to the bus station. But once we arrived in the city and got to our apartment, we went shopping. There were 24-hour stores, which was amazing. And then we have seen this. A dude, after midnight, nobody else is on the street, is riding like this weird-ass wheel. What the fuck? <laughs> this was the first impression. Good morning, it's 11 f We are in our apartment in Kiev and it's the first day, kind of like the first day because yesterday we arrived here at like 11 p.m. and our flight had a delay of four hours. But now I'm in the apartment, I want to show you around how it looks. So let's start from the beginning, I'm gonna show you the door. Let's walk in. So we got a mirror, that's the bathroom, got a jacuzzi. So as you already see me, living room, have a few paintings here. The kitchen, which I'm really happy about, is pretty modern. We have an operating refrigerator without any food, so that's gonna be the next step for today, getting some food and the, the balcony. Let me show you the area. It's kind of loud outside, but when we, when we were sleeping, you were not hearing anything, so it's very good. And uh, I can give you like the first look at the Ukrainian cars, so. This is like the bus that's driving around here and this is the area that we're living in. Very nice, old buildings, some big ass building. Big room, TV, it's, it's a little bit messy, we just arrived and uh, <laughs> take out our stuff. What's that, the bedroom? We paid um, 35 euro a night, so 70 euros overall. And I think it's uh, very nice because 16 euro a person for a night, a whole apartment, we are in the city center. Yesterday we arrived here at almost midnight and we went to the city, it was like 20 minutes. So, I'm going to show you more in a few seconds. The next step for today is going to be get some food, prepare the food and then we're going to get into the city and uh, just do some tourist stuff. What you're seeing my girlfriend doing there is practicing to open up the door, it's like a button lock. But now we are shopping, this was the first shopping tour in Ukraine and I was crazy amazed about the prices. Take that baby! And then we went to a money changer and this was the result, it's seriously not that much. So a few hours later, I'm here in the apartment. We just had some food. We cooked up chicken in this old Ukrainian pan. And this really tastes amazing. It's like carrots and um, it's called Korean um, carrot salad. My girlfriend is kind of lost. Around 15 minutes ago, we were talking about that we don't have any toilet paper here. So I was like, why don't you get some? Why don't you just go down? We're here on the fourth floor. It's uh, pretty high. Why don't you just get down and get some toilet paper? And she was like, oh yeah, that's cool. That's kind of like a challenge. I'm gonna do that. And uh, I don't know where she is because this store is like down there where the woman walks on the right side. And she, has been gone for like the last 15 minutes and I don't know where she is. So basically I brought my German girlfriend to Ukraine and lost her. She's coming up. So it took her like 30-40 minutes to get some toilet paper in the store which is like two minutes away from here. Let's see what she has to say. Basically the store that she went to had no toilet paper so she had to look for another one which was 10-20 minutes away but let's be honest here she could have been kidnapped or killed or whatever in the world. The world is crazy. 
After going out at night to some restaurants, we decided to do the next day like kind of like a sightseeing day. So there were two things that I wanted to see. Number one is the Chernobyl Museum that you see us at right now. So Chernobyl was basically the city where there were an atomic power plant which blew off like 20-30 years ago and it was one of the biggest atomic cat catastrophes in the world history. So this is the museum of it. Everything that you see was not actually in Chernobyl itself because it would be still radioactive. So most of the stuff that you see there is staged, so it's not real, besides of the letters and everything. But the main point of the museum is, in my opinion, to kind of like to create the atmosphere and inform and show the pain that the people had to go through. And the atmosphere really was crazy and it was a very good setup in this museum. And it was super cheap, it was like 20, 30 cents to get in there. We took the subway which also cost only like 10 pennies, 10 cents and we went to the motherland statue so we got one subway station off too early or just at the wrong station and we had to walk like 30 40 minutes in like super hot weather under burning sun but this is the motherland statue it really was looking huge and it just looked awesome like seriously if you're ever in ukraine if you're ever in kiev check out those two things they trying to wipe the game but all they ever do is flirt i give my heart i give my soul i swear i really put in work right now we are leaving the apartment in kiev we have stayed here for two days, it was really nice, the door is open. So I have to grab the bag and our next apartment is like four minutes away. We have one more night to stay, so let's go. This time, it's just for one night, we have a smaller room, bed, and very happy about that. Small refrigerator, got just like a sofa over there, and the bathroom, and this time we have a showering bathroom, which I think is more practical, because before we had a jacuzzi, it was nice, but it was leaking. So that's it, apartment number two in Kiev, but not gonna stay here for too long, let's get out of here. What you're seeing there are some photos in the city center of Kiev with one of the main monuments and with that we're coming to the end of this video. What I wanted to do here was just to share this feeling that I had within these few days, just a feeling of freedom and having a good time and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. This is just the first video of a few more to come from Ukraine, I've been there for three weeks in three different cities. In the next video, I'm gonna show you one of the craziest places that I've ever been at. The Kachalka Gym. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I see you soon.